Hi guys! Me, Lulu here. I have a message that I have been trying. Well, I have been. I've been working on it and studying a little bit about um, the verses in the Bible and exactly what it is that I should be sharing. And Jesus gave me this message a little bit ago and I started writing things out on June 22nd. However, I just feel like I'm not enough. I've been saying, God, I'm not good enough, and I don't have enough knowledge to make these videos, and I don't know how to do the fancy editing and the effects and all that. And as I've been praying about that, Jesus said, Laura, you are enough. You just learned all about trust and placing your trust and everything and just giving it all to me. I'm using you. I'm giving you these messages, these words. So stop feeling like you're not enough and just get out there and do it. So today I came up to a cross. This is at my uncle's house. Um, he's absolutely amazing, but he um, was saved. I don't even know how old he was, but a lot of his life he did not uh, really have any kind of beliefs, I guess. And now he's a Christian and I love that we can talk about things together and we can share together. And it's just been a really great journey to be on with him. So anyway, even though I'm not great with all the technology and all that crap, here it goes. This is what I wrote um, in my journal. And then I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking for some help with. My message um, from God was, you need to tell people to kick it to the cross. So I want to make a short or a reel or whatever the actual terminology should be for that on what we can give to God, what we can kick to the cross, leave it at the feet of the cross. Because I know his word says, um, his yoke is light. Like just give it to him. He'll, he'll take anything, anything we need from him, we can ask him for. So the message I have is, I stand at the foot of the cross because I understand God's love for me, the price Christ paid for us, and the new life, the new beginning, the fresh start that it signifies for me and you. God wants your friendship. He wants our friendship. He cares so much for every one of us. He died on that cross so that we all can be forgiven of all of our sins catch that? Not some of our sins, all of our sins. Um, all we need to do is accept the truth. Invite Jesus into your life. Understand this does not mean you will never sin because we all sin, but it is an invitation for the Holy Spirit to guide us, to teach us, to open all of our mind and heart to live our lives in a way that brings glory or happiness to Jesus, our God, maker and creator of all things. It is asking Jesus to live within us and to guide us in our fleshly bodies. So when judgment day comes to each of us and God asks, what have you done for me? You can say, I listened to you and followed the Bible, the instructions that you gave to us to live a life that makes you happy. And I am excited to one day hear God say to me, Well done, good and faithful servant. Welcome to your eternal home. So I ask you, do you want to hear God say that to you? And then be welcomed into the eternal life of nothing but happiness and be reunited with others? family, friends, loved ones who've gone home before us? Or do you choose to run from God and live in eternal hell? If you want to invite Jesus in, please pray this prayer with me and then reach out to a Christian and ask them to help you grow in your faith. So anybody, even if they're a new Christian, even if they have questions on becoming a Christian, like just reach out to people and talk about it. Talking is something amazing. It's communication. It just opens doors for us. It brings fellowship among others. And I talk because I like to talk. It's just the way that God made me. 
and I'm glad he is using me and this gift to gab to teach others about him. So here's the prayer. Dear Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. I have done many things that don't please you. I have lived my life for myself only. I am sorry and I repent. I ask you to forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross for me. You did what I could not do for myself. I come to you now and ask you to take control of my life. I give it to you. From this day forward, help me to live every day for you and in a way that pleases you. I love you, Lord, and I thank you that I will spend all eternity with you. And then you can add anything you want to that prayer and just thank God for what he is doing. And if you don't have that relationship with him and you don't know what he's doing, just say, Jesus, I invite you in. Fill me. Live within me. Fill my soul with all of you. Light that path. Let the lamp be the light at my feet and guide me in all I do. Help me to point others to you. Help me to stop sinning. Forgive me for all those sins I've done, Lord. Just lead me. Help me spread your word, Jesus. And talk to God like he's your best friend. Because he is. He's always with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for helping me to be brave and be courageous and there's a Bible verse on that and when my journey um, recently started where I started really um, spending time in the Word of God and I was called by God and told you are enough this is what I want you to do my friend said to me I keep getting told to be brave and be courageous so this is me following the word, being brave and being courageous. And I know God's working in me. And he can be working in you. Just invite him in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you're doing. I love you. Amen. So that's the message. And next, I'm going to do the kick it to the cross. So when we do read the word, um, it does tell us, which the word is the Bible, um, this verse has just been coming up and up for me. It is Philippians 4, 6. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And then some of the other ones are Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And then Matthew fifteen thirteen says, and great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others. And they put them at his feet, and he healed them. So what? who else do you have um, that you need to ask God to help? You can lay them down. Lay them down at the foot of the cross. He is there for you. He will help you. He will guide you. Now understand, this doesn't happen instantly. It does take time. It takes that devotion of wanting to know more and listening to Lord and when you get those feelings just follow them know that that is coming from God um, think about it pray about it and wait patiently on the Lord just wait patiently for him but know that you can give everything every problem to him so Psalms 119 105 there it is your word is a lamp to my feet and I light and a light to my path and then, let's see, what else here? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I know um, in the Catholic religion, they have, um, I can't, confessions. Um, I don't believe in that. Uh, I wasn't raised that way, but I do know people that were, including my husband. But you don't have to be in a booth going before anybody and telling them what your sins are. God already knows your sins. He just asks you to spend time with him. 
speak them to him, tell him, and then ask him for forgiveness. That's all you need to do. Um, so don't feel like you have to talk about it or tell other people all your sins. You can just say, Jesus, you already know my sins. Help me to stop sinning and forgive me for those things that I have done. And it's that simple. You can just talk to him like he's your best friend. And that's the amazing part. Like, since I've been so on fire to God and have this calling, it's just amazing. I am on fire for Jesus and I want others to be on fire. So why I'm doing all these videos and why I'm just, you know, maybe some think making a fool of myself, I don't care because these are things that I feel Jesus is speaking to me. When I sleep, I get visions. Just when I talk, these ideas pop in my head. I don't hear a voice of Jesus. I know some people can hear that. I don't speak in tongues. I don't, um, I don't have a degree. I did not go to Bible school, like Bible school as in a ministry school. But anybody can minister. Anybody that knows Jesus can spread the word about him. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you're enjoying. If you can, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, it's Lulu here, and this is Life with Lulu, trying to spread the word of God. He is so good. And watch for more videos. I'm going to do the kick it to a cross. So you take care. Bye-bye. Love y'all.